Welcome to our lecture online. Here's the third example of how to deal with problems dealing with investments. We have three investments, bonds, stocks, and annuities at 3, 5, and 6%. Mandy invests $2,000 in bonds. The remainder is invested in both stock and annuities. We don't know how much of that remainder is. But you do, she does have stipulations. She wants twice as much invested in annuities compared to stock and then the question is, well, I should put a period here. And then the question is, how much should she invest in each in order to earn a total of $740? All right. So we do know how much is invested in bonds, but we don't know how much is invested in stocks and annuities. So we're going to let X equal the amount of money invested in stock. And then, of course, since she wants twice as much invested in annuities, then 2x will equal the amount invested in annuities. Now we're going to need an equation. So earnings from the bonds plus earnings from stock plus earnings from annuities must add up to the amount that she wants to earn, which is $740. So now the question is, how much in each? Well, let's now express these three things in terms of X. So the amount earning from bonds will be the amount invested times the rate. Plus, for stock, the amount invested would be X times the rate, which is 5%, plus the amount invested in annuities, which would be 2X, times the percentage of earnings equals a total of 740. So that is what gives us the ability to solve for x. The first thing we want to do is multiply both sides of the equation by 100 to get rid of the percentages. So in this case, we get 2,000 times 3 plus 5x plus 2x times 6 is equal to 740 with two more zeros, 74,000. Now let's get rid of the parentheses. So we get 6,000 plus 5x plus 12x is equal to 74,000. Moving the 6,000 to the other side, we get 5x plus 12x is equal to 74,000 minus 6,000. Combining like terms, we get 17x is equal to 68,000. Divide both sides by 17. We get x is equal to 4,000. 4, that's 40. Is it 4,000? 4, yes, it is. 4,000. All right. Now, what does that mean? Well, going back over here, that means we should invest 4,000 in stocks and twice as much 8,000 in annuities. Of course, we should check to see if we did this correctly. So let's add up all the earnings. So for bonds, we take the 2,000 and we invest it at 3%, which means that gives us earnings of $60. Then for stock, we take 4,000 and we invest it at 5%. That would mean we get $200 in earnings. And finally, when it comes to annuities, we take twice as much or 8,000 and invest it at 6%, which gives us $480. When we add it all up, that gives us $740. And that was indeed, I believe, where are we? Yes, that was indeed the amount that she wanted to earn. And so there's the portfolio of Mandy, 2,000 in bonds, 4,000 in stock, and 8,000 in annuities. And that's how it's done.